Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making my Mississippi pot roast. I will insert a link to the original recipe below. Um, of course, I'm going to make some substitutions and variations because, you know, I don't need all the extra points from the stick of butter or whatever else the recipe called for. So we're going to start off with one, approximately three and a half pound, it's a beef round bottom roast. And then to that, I'm going to add approximately one onion. And if you were following along with my earlier videos, you know that I went ahead and chopped up a bunch of onions. So I'm just gonna dump in, that looks about like one onion. We like onions here, so it doesn't matter if I have a little extra in there. My husband won't mind. Calls for a package of brown gravy mix or au jus mix if you have it. Um, in this case, I just picked up a pouch of reduced sodium brown gravy mix, and I think it was just the Great Value Walmart brand. Just gonna dump that right on top. Gonna add some salt, and that's just a regular salt grinder, and some pepper. for a package of Hidden Valley Ranch Dip. And when I purchase the Hidden Valley Ranch Dip, I just purchase it in the containers because I use it for like my buffalo chicken and my buffalo chicken dip as well. Um, I don't think I've made my buffalo chicken in a while. Um, that's also another crock pot recipe. And you just have that on a bun. And it's really, really good. I'm gonna grab a measuring spoon here really quick. And I'm just gonna throw in a tablespoon of the Hidden Valley Ranch dip. Now, you really don't taste the ranch dip, so if you're not a ranch fan, just cut back the ranch, but um, we don't notice the flavor. My husband's not a big, huge ranch fan either, but he likes this recipe. It's calling for one cup of beef broth. So, And again, um, it is now 6.20 in the morning. I'm just throwing this on before I walk out the door for work. And I try not to have too many of the ingredients measured out because I like to show you that you can you can pull this together in the morning too. So it just takes a few extra minutes. Um, I think we're sitting at 3 minutes 35 seconds right now. So I am using this beef broth base and just putting that into my cup of water that I just measured out. So I'm going to add two tablespoons of this to that cup of water. And then I'm going to give that a quick stir before I pour that in. And then our final ingredient Sorry, two more ingredients. Now the original recipe does not call for carrots, but I had extra carrots when I made this one day and the carrots turned out so flavorful. And at that point I started adding carrots. So I've got a 16 ounce bag of baby carrots here. So I'm just gonna add the whole bag. Um, these carrots warm up beautifully later as well. They're so good. And then our final ingredient will be pepperoncinis. 
So it says to use one cup of pepperoncinis. Uh, this is a 16 fluid ounce jar, so I'm going to use half this jar along with half the juice from the jar. And then we'll save the rest for next time. So I'm just going to pop these out right into here. jar pour some of that juice in and voila in just over five minutes I have dinner in the crock pot and I don't have to worry about dinner when I get home from work so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on now normally I would cook this on low for eight to ten hours but the roast that I pulled out last night is pretty solid so I think I'm gonna go ahead and program my crock pot for seven hours on high and that will go ahead and switch to keep warm at that point but that way at least I know that it'll be nice and juicy and tender when we get home so stay tuned come along with me and I'll show you what I eat the rest of the day and yep who would have guessed it I'm having oatmeal today um, today I'm having my peanut butter cookie oatmeal and I've added one banana to that, and it is absolutely delicious. So I'm going to head off to a meeting and enjoy my breakfast. Um, four smart points for this. I just had an amazing thought. I grabbed some of that sauce, the au jus sauce, and I'm going to use that to dip my sandwich in. So in front of you, what you have is a two point bun. We have six points of the meat mixture. I have the fat free mozzarella cheese made by Kraft. That's zero points. I only have a quarter cup on there. And the vegetables are zero because I didn't put anything on there. And the side dish of carrots, um, zero points is for that as well. I'm going to add an extra point for the au jus. So this gives me a nine point dinner. Okay, I'm going to wrap up today at 19 smart points. I'm going to end my day with an iced coffee and one of my yummy pumpkin donuts. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, thanks for coming along with me during my day. Have a great night, and we'll chat with you later. If you like what you saw today, please remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel as I have more fun stuff coming your way. Thanks. Bye.